Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently a lack of commitment by Michael Keaton has now caused Warner Brothers to start discussing the possibility of Christian Bale returning as Batman in The Flash rather than Michael Keaton. Now, this actually hasn't come out of nowhere. We know from the horse's mouth, from Michael Keaton himself, that he has not 100% signed on. He hasn't fully read the script, he doesn't know where they're shooting, and he is very concerned by COVID uh, on a set. So this hasn't come out of nowhere, it's not entirely unfounded, but I'm not overly sure how much I believe it. And the only reason I say that is because I don't think Christian Bale would return. And it's very much a left field approach rather than going with Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton is someone that I could see returning. He isn't doing an awful lot of stuff. Yes, he's been in Marvel. Yes, he's done some indie projects, but he's not done an awful lot of stuff recently. And this could be really good for his career to go into the mainstay, you know, mainstream a little bit more. Now, Christian Bale, you could probably argue, yeah, he's not really been in a lot of stuff recently either, but that's how Christian Bell has always worked his career. So, I just don't see Christian Bell returning, but it's not come out of nowhere. So, I feel it's worth, at the very least, a look. So, let's dive into it. Before we do, ladies and gents, you may know that I am now selling a limited edition Blu-ray of my film Black Field. So, the film is on there, the prequel film is on there, uh, Bjorn and Frieda as well as an hour-long documentary of how the film got made, behind-the-scenes interviews, uh, just a general film lover's Blu-ray. So you can find that link down below. It's only available for sale until May 3rd. So grab it whilst you can. It will never be sold again, quite literally. So let's dive into this anyway. So anyway, according to a new rumour, Warner Brothers has a backup plan in case Michael Keaton backs out. Now, this is really important. Remember... He actually has not 100% signed on. Uh, and, and they note it here anyway. So this is the original part. This is the original uh, interview where Michael Keaton admitted that COVID-19 fears uh, how things are running on set, where they're, where the set is going to be, where the film is predominantly going to be, uh, will potentially lead him to not bother with The Flash. And he hasn't even read the script, which is shocking absolutely shocking and this was to deadline so not not a unreputable source anyway but he said and i quote i'm more concerned i keep my eye more on the covid situation in the uk than anything uh, now he said that he's living away from densely populated areas and he says that would determine everything and so that's why i'm living outside the city here on 17 acres staying away from everybody because the covid thing has got me really concerned. Uh, and then he continued further and said, so that's my first thing about all projects. I look at it and go, is this thing going to kill me, literally? And you know, if it doesn't, then we talk. And yeah, I can see the cause for concern. He's no spring chicken. You know, he is 69 years old and the elderly are the most vulnerable to the virus. Uh, but then he hasn't even bothered to read the script, <laughs> which is not really reassuring and he says i'm needing a minute to think about it because i'm so fortunate and blessed i got so much going on now he i mean he literally says he hasn't had time to read the script i'm really into work right now i don't know why but i am and so yeah i mean you know to tell you the truth somewhere on my ipad is an iteration of the whole flash thing that i haven't had time yet i called them and said i have to be honest with you i can't look at anything right now i'm so deep into this thing i'm doing it's a Hulu series, Dope Sick. Uh, also, I'm prepping a thing I'm producing and getting ready to do down the road in the fall. So just as a bit of background, it hasn't come out of nowhere. Uh, and this is where the rumor has basically come from. So Giant Freaking Robot state that Warner Brothers are now in talks with Dark Knight star Christian Bale to reprise the grizzled, or a, a grizzled, anyway, a grizzled iteration of a Cape Crusader. Uh, and it would be... 100% just to replace Michael Keaton in The Flash. And this is, of course, to open up 
the multiverse and show different Earths, Earth 1, Earth 2, so on and so forth. And I guess you could say it's a, it's a way to adjust themselves away a little bit from Zack Snyder's Justice League. That's how it seems to be anyway. Um, so, yeah. Now, Giant Freaking Robot stated, uh, and they stressed anyway, that the studio is only in talks with Bale. The papers have not been signed, so he's not finalised to return, but it definitely sounds like Warner Brothers DC wants to nab him in some capacity for The Flash. But, again... Important to know that Michael Keaton isn't 100% signed on board either yet. Uh, COVID is the main concern, and he hasn't even read the script. So, even though Giant Freaking Robot has stressed that, yeah, the studio is only in talks, and no papers have been signed, etc., there's no finalising, neither has Michael Keaton. So, Warner Brothers really need to get on board with someone, because uh, they're going to leave it too late. Now they add, not knowing fully why Warner Brothers is talking to Bale, that there could be more to this story, a ploy to bring together three generations of Batmen. Uh, that apparently might be in motion, to give audiences an unprecedented reason to see The Flash. It's already known that Ben Affleck is returning as the DCEU Batman, uh, perhaps for the last time. And Giant Freak and Robots say, wager on this. Um, uh, it's either... It's an either-or situation. So either Michael Keaton is coming back as Batman or Christian Bale is. And that makes sense. I mean, you'd, you'd have to pay a lot of money for these actors. Uh, Christian Bale's not cheap at all. Uh, and I can't imagine Michael Keaton is now. Um, he's a storied actor. He would absolutely have a baseline pay that his agent would set him, which means he, you know, he wouldn't even get out of bed for. So yeah, they would probably only want to pay for one person to come back, especially if it's kind of like a cameo anyway. Now, then things get a bit for, uh, you know a bit more blurry. So Mickey Sutton at Geekosity reached out to his sources on the matter, and they say that while Bale is the plan B should Keaton fall through, getting him will be more complicated than it looks, because beyond money, he views his last outing in The Dark Knight Rises as his goodbye to the character, cementing his legacy in the cape and completing the trilogy's narrative circle. That's likely where Bale would like to leave it, and that does actually make sense. I can I can see that. Um, so, yeah. Now, further from this, Sutton bets that Keaton will ultimately win out or relent, whatever the case, to wear the cape and count again. But it's not a case of winning out or relenting, it's he's concerned about his health. Um... Which is perfectly reasonable. Uh, I don't see any issue with that. I think that's a perfectly legitimate reason, to be fair. Now, certain bets that ultimately Keaton will either win or relent to donning the cape and cowl again in realisation of the casting, which many, including the Flash director Andy Machete, uh, felt certain about, which they did all feel certain about, but him going to deadline and saying, oh, hey, guys, yeah, I've not even actually read the script, and oh, hey, yeah, I'm not even confirmed because I'm concerned about dying. Yeah, I mean... It sort of flies in that face anyway. Now, the fact that Warner Brothers and DC went to the trouble of commissioning concept art of Keaton's Batman in the Flash, which was shown off during a DC fandom panel, shouldn't be dismissed or understated. I mean, they did. But again, you can't understate the fact that the guy has admitted to not even reading the script. So, where do you guys sit on this? What do you guys think? I, I doubt Christian Bale will return. I can't see him doing it. Uh, Michael Keaton... Uh, Michael Keaton's part of... The sort of oldish Hollywood narrative that... I guess you could say is trying to stay relevant in some aspects. And... You know, I'm not saying that he's lying about being uh, afraid of COVID. But there was a whole bunch of actors that jumped on board and... You know, was in agreement with Tom Cruise for his rant and stuff like that. And Michael Keaton is, is part of that group that is overly politicised and, you know, will jump on a bandwagon for politicisation's sake to gain some level of brownie points. And, and I think that potentially could be part of this. And I think he will ultimately just sign up anyway. Um, but that's just a, a, a broad end note. 
I guess you could say. Please do let me know what you think, though, down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Cheers. Take care.